V2s. I guess if you're liquid, you could justify this saying, well, if we'd won some of those clutches, maybe we actually win the map or at least get sure. closer. So I don't know. It's unfortunate because now we're on dust too. Vitality picked it and it's going to be right off with the with the round starting Grim and Stewie getting a kill each flashed in. Really good job. There was a counter flash coming out from Sharks, but it still didn't work out. Now, he's no longer throwing flashes. Bullets instead. Taking down Fallen Misuta. He's just swinging wide for the fight, and he doesn't get a single kill for it. Sharks trying to reload on top. Apex is there, trying to get the job done. Sharks with more headshots. Kitty actually saved them in this round. Apex doing a thrill. 360 jump to get the kill on Naf as well. And now it's Stewie. One on one versus Sharks. He is jumping for it. That is dangerous. Sharks is going to take him down at the end of triple. And Vitality, they will win that round two on four. <laughs> they can't even believe it themselves. Apex is just freaking out. He did I'm the so 360 happy. on him. I'm so happy we caught that on camera, the 360. He's officially just twerking on Team Liquid now. Oh, Crazy. Dude. And every, now they're all just talking trash in the chat as well. Of course. The Shoxy pistol man from the Young Stu. That is so sick. What a what well, what a save from Shoxy considering I think he team flashed both of his teammates, uh, you know, when they went in for that fight originally at long. You saw the assist, you know, coming in <laughs> from that flash grenade that Shoxy threw. Yeah. So uh, he needed to come up big to, to save the team there, considering he was the A anchor at that point, and he does. So tremendous work from Shoxy. What a start for him. Three kills in the pistol. Vitality again off to a good start on the map. And now let's see. What do we got here? Slow stuff coming in here from Liquid, at least to start. <laughs> it's now almost 7 to 1 on the odds favoring Vitality. Yes. <laughs> Pretty brutal. Well, Shox is all the way at the back plateau. Great position to be in. Scout, though, maybe the weapon to, to pick him off here. He's waiting for the contact from Misuto, you have to assume. There it is. And yep, he's going to stand up right behind. So that's a, that's a fairly non-complicated 1-2 punch. Quad kill as well for Misuto with the MP9. Everyone's happy. The, I'm imitating Apex there with the chef's kiss because, you know, for once, Anders, all the SMGs, all the SMGs kills. It's true. Just, Make just the money. Max money on that anti-eco. Thank you very much. That's what I want to see. Just farming money. Misuda starts this round with 58.50 in the bank. <laughs> that is mountains of cash. You can just hand over an AWP to Zywoo if you want. You can do whatever you want at this point. You're guaranteed an AWP. That makes such a huge difference. Oh. Well, okay, it is. Then. Yeah, it's the new version of us too. People do this a lot now. Pushing into lower dark. They do it in, in all rounds. Um, they know, though, on the liquid side. Grim, yeah, that is not worth it. Not worth pushing. The problem, though, is you kind of have to react to it. It would be different if liquid had already taken long at this point because then they could ignore what's happening in upper and lower dark. But eventually, they're going to have to go clear this out. Mm. It has kind of stabilized a little bit, but uh, because it was a bit more CT-sided when the f update first happened on yeah. Dust2, now it's pretty much 50-50 CT-side win rate in the last three months on Dust2. But for a second there, it was pretty CT-sided because of this, because of these aggro pushes in mid. But yeah. Teams are starting to figure out how to deal with it as well. I actually think this has done, it's done so much to try and bring the map back and, and sort of make it a little bit more interesting. Perfect flash setup and a perfect peek to follow it from Grim. So, I mean, they spent a lot of time. Don't underestimate that either. We're down sub 50 seconds by the time they have control of Upper Dark. So that's a bit annoying. Good little shot there, but he couldn't fall back in time or didn't want to at any rate. It does leave Saiwu alone inside of the bomb site. Not a great position to be in with a UMP. Less than half health as well. They're all coming for him and he's just, he's in trouble. But somehow he gets out. Wait, where's the AK? Grim. He surely had one, yeah. By. Yeah, yeah, he had one, but uh, I don't think Zai was able to pick it up fast enough. He was just over that body and out of dodge as fast as possible. Now you have a three-on-three -three retake. Oh, this is awkward. This should be Liquid's round every single time. Apex goes down, Elige. Clean peek to pick that one up. Zai was trying to get through the smoke, but he's not going to be allowed. And they will end up shooting Kyojin in the back. It's a good round for Liquid. Good to see them stabilize. Would have been... Uh, Unforgivable if they would have lost that round. Yeah, especially given the fact that Zaiwu just does that run and gun drop out of nowhere. <laughs> that is so sick though, because he realizes the timing that his window, the window is closing. If he's getting pinched, he has to make a play. And of course, it's just get gr it's Grim that gets bopped. Yeah. He tried to pick up that AK. Oh, that's so annoying. He gets caught with, you know, going for the swap afterwards. Yeah, unfortunate. But uh, it had liquid stickers on it. Maybe that's why it's like, oh, cursed, cursed AK. I'm not, I'm not getting that. He just threw it away immediately afterwards. Oh. 
Double AWP in the in the fourth round, that's rare. But that's that MP9. True. The quad kill MP9 play with the Zywoo getting a UMP kill. You know, it's just that 600 bucks instead of 300 bucks it makes a difference. It stacks up fast. So now you can go right into this. And we saw a similar strategy from uh, Vitality on Mirage as well, where they went immediately into a double AWP on that CT side. And that really kicked things off strong for him. So not wasting any time here, Vitality. And again, this is Vitality's map pick. So they want to go on to Dust2 here against Liquid. Oh. Famas? What a mad lad holding this angle with the Famas. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, he's not afraid. I mean, you are, you are hitting headshots at that range, but... Um... Stewie will barely stay alive. And it's a four on four. Both the orbs are still alive. I don't think that they even know Liquid yet that there is a double orb in play, which that can make a big difference. If you if you if you have the comms to figure that out along the way, you can start to play the round differently without a doubt. And it's definitely going to affect how you're going to try and and get out, uh, you know, especially maybe on catwalk or long, right? Definitely going to want to make sure you have the right smokes up and running. Looks like they're all going to be regrouping to try and hit the B bomb site. Masutra and Apex are holding it inside. They don't have any more nades or anything to work with, so this could get a bit awkward, but it is the two rifles. Good spray. Masuta gets the headshot on Grim, tries to follow it up, and it's Apex following, uh, getting holding that back line as well. Good double for either one of them, and that looked like way less impressive for Liquid. What's he doing? What the <laughs> Apex. Man. You never know what you're getting out with Apex, man. I love it. He's just in the club. Can we, can we get an edit where we just add some generic 90s techno music? He's feeling it. Oh, yeah, dude. Masita, I'm so impressed with him in this series. Dude. He's like showing no respect. Top fragging right now for uh, Vitality. So that is so sick to see. What a shot from Fallen, though. Okay. All right, then, yeah. Get that scout in play. Oh, did he manage? To, he did not manage to save that AWP though. Oh, he did. Just barely snag it. And there it is. Shoxy chiming in with the kill of his own, taking Stewie. Double up confirmed. Love it. And a chance here. Naf was looking to try and follow up on this. Yep, he's got that dig. Not out of this yet. I mean, it's still very much a threatening round here from Vitality or from Liquid rather, because we've seen just how powerful these players can be once they have their hands on some deagles and scouts. True. And I mean. The, the previous map on Mirage is one of those heavy deagle maps. Does two, obviously, maybe even more so. So wouldn't be surprised if we get some more. And that scout-deagle combination we mentioned it earlier, even if you just get the body shot with the deagle, scout can follow it up or the other way around. It works really well. Dude. All right. Sharks is hitting everything right now. This is not bad. Naf, though, he will get him down. Can he throw away the orb anywhere? I feel like it almost would be worth it. He's going to get the kill on one of them. We almost followed up. He did tag Apex, and he's going to be pushing forward. They don't know about it. He even saw the boost coming. My god, Naf is... He's fired up right now, but it is a quad kill for Shox at the end of that round. It's a four to one lead for Vitality. Dude, he tags him through there as well. It's like know, he can't miss crazy. a shot. Shoxy as well is just hitting everything. 184 ADR so far for Shoxy in five rounds. It's like, okay, he's just popping off right now. Eight kills, two deaths. And yeah, it is an anti-eco, fair enough. But still, good to see Shoxy just taking fights and uh, being brave here on the server. That's what you want to see out of an opper especially on Dust2. The op is all about confidence. You need to know that you can hit the shots when you take those peaks. Oh, nice little, little nerdy lineup coming in here from Elish. Yeah, he's counting the pixels. He's like... One, two, three. Oh. oh. Missed chance there. That's dangerous. Grim, what an opening out long. Dodges the AWP, goes for the swing with the Galil, and now Shox is in trouble. You could see him yelling into the microphone. Please, please send back up. Well, I don't want to be stuck out this, here. Though, if he can survive this pressure, this is really interesting because now he doesn't even need to... I mean, they've just wasted a molly to try and force him out of that position. Stewie actually in a position that could have won the round. If he wins that fight against Masuta, I don't even know Vitality can really rotate heavily. So is, he had the jump on him. This is so cool from Shoxy though. Yeah. Because, I mean, now the Molly with that smoke down, it, they don't know if he's there or not, or not. And so they have to use even more utility just to see if they can clear him out. And Shoxy hits the headshot on Fallen in the meantime. Shoxy is feeling it on Dust2 right now. This is so sick to see. And yeah. there's Saiwu on the other side. The brackets. What year is it? Are we back onto French double op on Dust2? It has been a very long time, hasn't it? But, uh, yeah, that used to be dangerous. Saiwu goes down. Someone, yeah, Apex is going to show up to try and recover the AWP. Of course, the longer you can keep that alive, the better it is. Grim, 
out here running on catwalk taking the fight to shocks but he just can't be stopped right now he's picked up another double kill but overall in this first half he is 10 and 2 right now so pretty impressive i've got to say stewie probably should have won that fight against masuta yeah, Stewie is having a real rough time of it uh, so far. Even though he's got five kills, it feels like he's getting picked himself fairly quickly. And that was Shoxy. Dude, they just could not get rid of him from that position. It was so impressive from Shoxy just staying alive. Sometimes that's the most important thing is if you can just stay alive, you will get your chance down the line. Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't, throw, uh, don't throw away yourself too casually. And you're right about that too, you know, they, they use the Molotov, the smoke, they maybe Other don't Molotov. even know if he's there, yeah, exactly. they have to use more, it's very frustrating. It's incredibly frustrating, and that really just ground that whole long push to a halt, because remember, they picked Kyojin at the beginning of that round by, by Liquid, so they, they've got to be thinking, great, fantastic, we have the opening kill, now we can start moving our way up long, and Shoxi puts a halt to all of that. Now you've got Liquid on this weird, uh, well, it's just a pistol half by. And they're going to split the B-bomb site. This actually can be very, very dangerous because if either Shox or Masuta goes down right off the bat, the bombsite will fall no matter what in a couple of seconds. So you want to be real careful. I love the fact that Apex is he's playing close for that reason. He wants to be there to help. Now he is going to get traded in the middle. Masuta, though, it buys some time. Grim, what a nice peek. And he's going to turn around for the kill on Shox as well. Grim has had so many openings in this first half already. And that might have just been the round that he just gave them. Think so, Anders. Think so. It's going to be time to back off. The money here for Vitality, because of how close some of these rounds have been, is not that good. So they're looking to back off and save what they've got. They could still go for a double AWP in the next round. You can see, actually. Um, yeah, this is so clean. Oh, Instant turnaround. What a, well, what a job well done. That was after Misuda still get like Misuda gets a kill there. Yeah, he does. Just the one, right? But. Apex, the way that he plays in the middle, because he's gonna he gets smoked off in CT spawn, but again, because he is someone who just goes goes all in every single time, instead of other players, maybe they would have tried to jump up on the box, they would have tried to play over the smoke to try and spray through and see if you get it. Apex knows that his teammates really need him. So he's like, I'm gonna go for the fight here. And he did get one of them. Uh if he would have got the other one, they win the round easily. Um, so yeah, I think that was another sign that Apex is just a... Uh, an intelligent player in that moment. He kind of understood the weakness of that B-bomb site, but um, couldn't couldn't get the double. Five no. to two, man. It feels like uh, everywhere, well, it feels like Shoxi is the one who's, he gets caught in the open and isn't quite able to get any impact with that AWP on that B-hold. If he picks up even one kill to take the pressure off of Misuda, yeah, that would be looking help. at a totally different situation. But that's just one of those rounds now where you gotta shake it off if you're Vitality, fall and really take it as time to line up this smoke. <laughs> Dude, it does, that's not every day that you see somebody actually scoping it with an op just to make sure they've got it down perfect. And now Grim, once again, hoping that he's going to be able to find that opening kill. Misuda with a little bit of an off angle here. We'll see if it works. It's the one that lands on the door, right? Like, it's, it's yeah, one. that's so the sick. smoke. It's very cool. <laughs> that's unbelievable geek levels that we've used here. <laughs> I love it. Huge fan. It's very cool, though. Uh, that's the kind of thing you want to see after all this time on this map. Players really just coming up with the goods. And, well, Grim, unfortunately, has not found anybody to take a fight with over in Upper Dark, but he, at least he's, you know, spotted that nobody's pushed for info either. 55 seconds left on the clock here for Vitality. And there's uh, Zywa swinging into it, and a Stewie is going to go down again. Wow, what's the plan here? 40 seconds. Fallen and Grim trying to make a bit of a play out the middle. The rest of them up on Catwalk making more noise, but they're really running out of time here. 35 seconds, a chance maybe? Just the shoulder peak there. Not enough to get the kill for Fallen. And now their hand has been played. They know what is coming next here on the side of Liquid. Trying to put up a bit of a... Bit of a defense vitality. Elise actually. He's gonna get the kill on Shox. This is interesting. Bomb is gonna be planted with 15 seconds left. And there is a chance now for Elysian Nav to do something here. Catching Apex off guard. He was not ready for it. More is coming, and it's Kyojin to take down Elysian. Now Nav is on his own. One versus two. Kyojin is low on health, but that all on Saivu. Up in the window, he's going to catch him. The flashbang, it doesn't do enough, but Saivu still walks in. Nav, not reading it, might have thought oh. that he was just flashing himself in. That one stings. Yeah. That one stings if you're Nav. So obviously, that's the other thing, right? If you catch a guy like that with a nade in hand, you have to be wondering what's the setup. 
that shot right there is bonkers from Zaiwu, though. The no scope on the fallen. Oh, he's so crazy. But I mean, again, another round that Vitality are just winning by the skin of their teeth. They had so many of those on Mirage as well. Yeah, it was a one-sided scoreline in the first half, but Vitality had a few rounds that they, they could have just gone their way. We could have been looking at a totally different situation. But now, Liquid again, kind of getting kicked in the teeth here. Fallen, not gonna find the shot. A little bit of info gained. At least he was able to spot a body, but uh, that's gonna be it. And we're back into the standoff. Very curious to see if we get some more aggression in upper dark here from Vitality as an answer. Yeah, they've slowed that down just a bit, but um, six to two scoreline. You're right. Vitality with some close rounds, but if if they keep winning them like they did on the Raj, then well, there's a good start. Side would have take down Fallen. Awkward standoff there. They're getting a lot of these openings, it feels right now. On the side of the French, it's going to be Stewie to fall next. So now the problem is, it was really shocked some Masuda leading the charge. Saibu, that was his eighth kill right there. If he's going to start to wake up too, then it's time well, to pack it up if you're Liquid. You know, it's been a long time since anybody on Liquid has really gotten many kills, <laughs> it feels like. I mean, Stu's been sitting at five kills yeah. since, what, the first three rounds or something. It's just, uh, he feels like he's just getting picked every time now. And uh, Liquid are just not getting these duels to go their way. So Zyta, well, <laughs> Zytality. <laughs> uh, just doing work right now. Interesting smoke. Puts a bit of pressure on if you're trying to walk through. He's just at the edge. Grim will fall. Again, he's been very good with the openings, but this time it's just too much. Naf running around with the AWP 15 seconds. They are going to come hunt for him, and I can't really blame them. They don't have that much money in the bank on the side of Vitality, but it doesn't yeah. tilt worthy duels to lose because I feel like Stu knows that that peak is coming and yet he still loses the fight. Here we go. The aggression is back on the side of Vitality. They're running all the way to top mid, catching them. Oh, that's a huge surprise. The bomb is on the ground and a two for one trade so far. Well done. Vitality just pausing, playing slow for a long time. And then just as Liquid is starting to feel a little bit safe around that CT aggression, it comes back with a vengeance. Nice shot from Elige. Down Ooh. from Pit. Sit down, Shoxy. Here comes the flash, though. Elige, he's staring right at it. And that is a good spray. Could have just as well been a triple. Yeah, they were... They were looking intently at that flashbang. Eyes wide open. That was a perfect, uh, perfectly timed flash. I really like this round from Vitality, even if right now it's close, and we'll see. I don't think Fallen has any reason to expect Zywood to be pushed up here, so he is going to get caught. Easy considered, but uh, a nice yeah. round from Vitality. They save both AWPs. That's what really matters. Double versus double scout. Which one will come out on top? I've got... Uh... I've got to guess myself, but... Uh -huh. Love to be proven wrong. It's just Fallen zipping around every corner here. Well, that's kind of the power of it, isn't it? You can, you can be that fast. I like the peeking around the smoke that's just landing, because sometimes players on the CT side will make a mistake in that moment and be like, ah, it's going to be smoked off, it's fine. And then someone walks in right in front. But Misuta, again, he has been playing really well this best of three so far. He's able to get a double there. Grim, awkward position. Going to get caught. Third kill for Misuta. And that leaves Naf. One versus five. I gotta give credit to Misuda though. He's been so clever with these off angles. It's yeah. been really annoying. I appreciate it because obviously when everyone else is picking Vitality, you feel like you can win everything at that moment, you know? I mean, to be, you know, I'm I'm kind of surprised. The real one that's gonna be all over the place is Nip Astralis later with the predictions. Yeah. Which one did you go for? You went for Astralis, didn't you? I did. You mad lad. Nip are gonna savage him. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, it's gonna be good. I think Config could win. I think that's the one where I think we're we're pretty divided in terms of uh, who's predicting what. He could probably bench the entire Nip lineup. Uh, you know who did an insane bench uh, yesterday or the day before? Rain. Apparently he benched 140, and he said it was easy. I'm like, <laughs> okay then. He's Norwegian, you know. <laughs> that's so sick. <laughs> Did he just send Saiwoo to pick up nades? That's when you know you're a cap. No, do it oh, again, oh, Saiwoo. Oh. Come back with it. Yeah. <laughs> he is. Yeah. Come on, those troops. That's, no that's way. the kind of discipline. And Apex is going to get the kill, of course. No, Not even any kind of honorable mention. For, so he's forgotten by history. So the, it's, the, it's the hard fate of the support player. The French grenadier. There it is.
the pomegranate just going to hard yeah. right there. He, he just he just he just relegated Saibu to his I love it. <laughs> personal Ooh, grenade nice assistant. Shot. Amazing. Saibu goes down, fallen, wide swing, and he's gonna find Kyojin as well. Apex lurking down in the smoke, but he's gonna be found as well. Fallen has decided to win the round all on his own. Good on him. Finally deciding to turn up. Um they can back off on this Vitality and still get that double op operational again. But Misuda's kind of swinging around on Catwalk if he can find somebody out of position. Now, if we could get a mic'd up moment for that Apex and Cyber situation, that would be cool. <laughs> Take notes. Misuda, he is hoping for uh, someone to peek into that AK. Kind of uh, pushing the envelope a little bit here. Oh, okay. Comes cruising back in the middle for a headshot on that. That is pretty impressive. Shock's down here, hoping to save the AWP. They are we gonna cross that time. It can is for Grim, but Fallen will find his fourth kill of the round. So the bait. That's impressive, yeah. I I, I hope <laughs> I, I can imagine. It's like yes, Mr. Apex. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll get it. Well, listen, dude. All right, Apex. He calls the shots. He's the IGL. He, he says jump. You say how high. Yeah, exactly. You don't even you don't even question. And Zaiwu, you know, he's always about, you know, I play for my team. Yeah, look at it. It's like, okay, here you go, sir. <laughs> That's so good. I love to see it. That is so good. <laughs> there's one, oh, there's one with, like, music to it. I'll Release tweet it later. Kraken. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Classic. Uh, the glory days of GSL, man. Yeah, classic esports history. I'll, I'll so tweet good. it later on. Shocks opening up the round to take down Elige. Not bad. And doesn't need to play it any more risky. Kyojin will go down in return, though. It's unfortunate. Out on long. Saibu here on the other side with the AWP. And Apex has taken over. Might have been expecting to peek an AWP then, but instead it was Apex. So three on three. Some trading going on across the map. Saibu is kind of out playing on his own. He doesn't have any teammates with him here. It's just him. Dangerous position to be in with the AWP. But then again... He just, he makes his own rules, I guess. He heard the footsteps. Yeah. He heard the footsteps. He knows somebody is around here somewhere. And Shoxy's trying to put himself in a position to help out as well. Nice smoke going down on a minute mark. That's going to leave Team Liquid wanting a little bit here. Yeah, they were thinking about it. Oh, they were thinking about it. They are like, do we want to go through this or not? Do we dare? But then, you know, you've still got enough time. As the smoke clears, it's going to be around 45 seconds. And now they swing together as a group, and this is all on Zaiwu. He has to hit these shots. Do they have any utility to work with here, Liquid? They are so sparse on nades. Yeah, that's a big issue. They need smokes and flashbangs to get rid of Zaiwu. You're absolutely right. The lack of nades really hurting them here. Double kill for Zaiwu as they try and get onto Catwalk. The double orb will stay alive into the 14th round, and no bomb plant for Liquid means they could probably justify forcing it up because if they don't, they're probably not going to do much in this first half, so might as well go all in, but the money is not looking good. Counter Molotov as well there is brutal. Yeah, and the double, the near double spray for Apex, that was a close run thing. It's a round difference. It was four to 10 going into the last round. Now let's see, can Liquid actually uh, replicate the score? Shoxy going to miss the shot. Early aggression out long, and they're just trying to put the, the pace on him. That is sick. Fallen going to get caught by Shoxy, but that was close. Molotov is perfect. He will get traded, but did a lot of damage to Stewie from beyond the grave. Kyojin, who's had a bit of a quiet time in the first half, he's, well, going to be put to sleep once again. Stewie will take him down. That's actually a really nice peek. Oh, dude, Stu can't catch a break. What? What? What was that? I don't know where the bullets went, but not into Elysia at any rate. Naf will go down, and Elysia to fall next. Simon, a bit of an awkward fight up. It's like, I, I do not believe. <laughs> It's great. Oh, this is sick. Yeah. 15th round coming up. Pressure on lower dark. Shocks is holding it. They jump past. They knew that was coming. But they don't know about the second off <laughs> that's in there. Tries for the no score. Please, Cywood's too much. Give them a break. They've already won the fight there. One versus four, and that's great. And Stewie is back, making entries on Catwalk. He got two in the last round. One here again. It's not bad. Looking forward, not going to quite get that kill. Zaiwu is still alive, and as long as Zaiwu is alive, there's a chance for Vitality. He's got that AWP catching the bomb out in the open. Now, if the bomb had fallen down and the CT spawned, that would have been a disaster, but he's back for more. Chewing them apart. Unreal. And Naf goes down. Now it is a one versus one. A suitable fall. They've, they've passed into their steam form and are easily passed through. 
it feels like uh, they need to figure out how to turn to ice now. 21 to 1 at the odds. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Well, well, it makes see. sense. Naf is alone on the bomb site. He has some backup outside, and actually, maybe they can get there in time. Fall number two big kills. Saibu, he's going to answer back, and so will Apex. More headshots from the Glocks are ringing through. They're kind of stepping in one at a time. Liquid wears the coordination. It's going to be Saibu with the final one. Here, the Woo's coming out, and a triple for Saibu. All right, so Apex was literally just complaining in the, cha in the chat about how his throat hurts. He's like, it, hurt it hurts all the time. It's really boring. And then you see him do that, and it's like, well, yeah, it hurts all the time if you're just popping off every freaking round. Stop yelling. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we don't want him to do that. No, we don't want him to do that. No, Apex, take one for the team. Well played. 12 to 4. I, I really felt like Liquid, because it was a little bit unfortunate that Naf was on his own in there, but they had three or four people outside. They could have probably gone together, but it felt like they kind of ran. They kind of were jiggling for peaks. They, they went down, no chance for any revenge, anything. A bit unfortunate. Fallen on a cool mission while the rest of them are out long. If he can find shocks, maybe. Maybe something could happen here. They just wish that they'd invested in some deagles this round. True. Because, I mean, it's, it's just a hard eco coming in here from Liquid. They only have the USPs. We have seen teams win these rounds before. But you really need the element of surprise. You need something to break your way. And right now, it's just Misuda kind of charging forward. And there is not a hope nor a prayer. For Team Liquid, Vitality locking it down. And Vitality not even messing around, just going quad Galil AK, just pff, yeah, not even going to bother re-upping for the next round. They're just fully equipped already. They just get nades and they're good to go. I thought that they're doing the war cry in this round. Where they, just, oh, they don't care. They're like, yeah, we got them. Well, they're, it's not, they're not sitting side by side. In, the, in where the teams are playing, there's four setups, right? And so you're alternating. So you're always going to have a team between you and your opponents. But... I imagine if you shout loud enough, your opponents are still going to hear you. So if you wanted to pop off and try and get in their heads, it's still a thing. You're going to have to just shout really loud. Maybe that's why Apex throat is hurting. Mm -hmm. just, just trying to yell across the arena. Wild. 18th round. We've got the early kill from Apex there. Galil versus Fallen to take him down. And now they're going to be putting a little bit of pressure on the bomb side. That's a beautiful headshot. Elige goes down and I don't think he had any. I think almost none of them have head armor whoa, here. Whoa, whoa, so whoa, the Galils whoa. are doing a lot of work. Shoxy, he's on the site again with the Galil though. But uh, they had the nades. Somehow it's able to recover that bomb. That's hysterical. The fact that he gets that down is unreal here. Liquid had a chance. And now they're getting flanked. Come Completely caught off guard by Misuda and Min. And look like he's enjoying watching his teammates get shot that much. I was gonna say, he looked <laughs> like he was like, he's like, yes, shoot them more. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. Oh, it's 14 4, and same strategy coming out from Liquid this time where they are going to go for just a half buy and play for overtime unless they can pull off an upset here. Scout on upper dark. There it is. Headshot coming in, but Apex is there for the trade. It's possible that Elise is playing this the way that I play Dota. Sort of, you know, if we're going to lose, at least you guys have to be more miserable than I am. <laughs> I mean, everybody on the server is miserable when you play Dota. Anders, you're playing techies. It's true. There's, there's no winning there. No, it is true, unfortunately. Grim Ooh. and Elise. Okay, good headshot. Grim putting in the effort still. And Elise trying to run through one versus two. That was almost always going to end that way. 15 to 4. Vitality one round away from defeating Liquid in this opening best of three of the fall finals. And really just putting all doubt to rest here. Vitality, they're here to do a job. They're here to just utterly murder this team. They made top eight at the major and they're continuing in fine form here. Liquid, I mean, it's, it's still, it's, well, they didn't mess around with uh, coming into this tournament and pre-tournament interviews. They were saying that they hadn't played together since the major. They hadn't put any effort in, in terms of prep. And so uh, it feels like we're kind of getting what we could have expected from Liquid, all things considered. Literally, they, all they had was individual performance. And if they, do, and if they don't have that, True. they don't have a leg to fall back on. Yeah, it's not been uh, the best that we've seen out of them. And they Definitely. got blasted in the major as well. They only want to map uh, against Ents on Dust 2. But again, Ents had the uh, horrendous performance at the major. So, you know, is that that much of a win to write home about? No, probably not. Probably not. Saibu is uh, getting found at the end, but I was going to say he, he is 23 and 7.
He's only died. That was his seventh death right there. Side as well. So full buy versus full buy. Liquid buying themselves a little bit more time to work with here. And uh, well, as far as again the aggression into lower dark, this is not going to matter though. Vitality straight out long. No time wasted. Grim taking advantage of the smoke on the corner though. Manages to catch Apex as he gets into the pit. And so man advantage here for Liquid. This is really good. It is, uh, yeah, I mean, it's very, very late to start to wake up. They don't know that Fallen is down there. That's very interesting. He's kind of walking back out, pretending to be one of the one of the side of Vitality here. He's going to get only the one kill. Shocks one versus two, and he's going to be found by Grim, who overwhelmed long early. It's just Vitality making the perfect counter strategy to Liquid, where, Liquid, yes. you know, they push lower dark. It would have just been them on opposite sides of the map, rotating around, and everything would have been fine and dandy. The only thing is that Grim stood his ground, got that kill, and ground that push to a halt. So, well done on Grim. And now, well, as far as Vitality are concerned, it's just a round of pistols coming up for them. No bomb plant last round. No bonus money to work with. And Fallen just hungry for kills. Give the man the stats. Uh, he needs to hit the shots, though, for that to happen. Yeah, it feels like all of Liquid are just sort of fighting in middle. Might not be necessary. Kyojin will find another Deagle headshot. Now you want to be real careful you don't give this one away. There's no reason to lose to Deagles. Stewie and Naf will close out the round, so Liquid will... Surprise. Mild shock. It is good to have these these player camps back in this way. It oh, does just make things so much better. I mean, we aren't yet on LAN, you know, because we're not playing in front of the audience just yet. All the teams here at Blast will get a chance to, even in their, their elimination matches. If everything goes wrong for them here at the beginning of the bracket, they will still have an elimination match to play, and they can play out in front of the fans, in front of the audience here in Copenhagen. So we will have LAN. We just have quite haven't oh. made it yet. How does he get that? Fallen is actually, he is escaping that scenario. But Misuta, he has been so on point with his AK. Trying to swing further, does duck down so Grim can't find him. And that's obviously important. Goes for it again here and he's going to win that fight. Huge double entry. That might well be the map in the series won by Misuta here in that moment. Bomb is going to be planted. Shocks is in T-spawn. He's kind of far away. But Stewie and F, any retake here is probably pure fantasy at this point. I don't see how they're going to be able to get close. Stewie's walking in. He's going to find one of them for free, but... <laughs> Scout headshot from Saibu, and it's going to be a one versus three for Nafi. He is picking them apart a little bit here, but he does not have the utility. He doesn't have a smoke, which he would need for a defuse here. They're going to go double peek him. He actually gets one and nearly the second, but now shocks playing a bit further.